Hey guys, hope you're having all a great day. So today I want to talk about a great project. Uh, it's called the Solana. Solana is currently a top uh, five coin and it's uh, a layer one. It's a very scalable, decentralized blockchain. It's not the most centralized in the world now. Uh, it has a bit of uh, centralization issues, but hopefully it will become more and more decentralized with time. Currently have 1,289 validator nodes and go up to scale up uh, 65,000 TPS per second. It has uh, it's backed by the venture capital, so it's a great uh, coin to mine on. It's grown a lot in the past year, huge uh, profit. And now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to mine this uh, this beast. So uh, first thing you want to go ahead and check this website called Unminable. Well, the good thing about Unminable is that it allows you to mine coins that are usually unminable. That's per its name. You know Solana is a proof of stake with history, but uh, troll mineable, you're actually mining Ethereum and then you're going to get paid in Bitcoin and then you get paid uh, that Bitcoin back to Sol. They convert that Bitcoin to Sol and it goes through to your wallet. Phantom is a great option. You can add that to Chrome. It's super easy. You see the wallet here, the extension here of the wallet. I put my uh, password. And as you can see here, you can put deposit Solana. And uh, here, I'm going to copy my address. And this is how you get your wallet address. And uh, next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead to Unminable, go to Download, and then click on Download Files here. So once you do that, it's actually download the, all, all the minor files. Uh, heads up, Windows will take this as a virus. Chrome will take this as a virus. So you want to make sure that you allow the file. Don't worry, there's nothing bad here. It just all minor files are viruses to Windows platform because they're using your computer resources, but there's nothing, there's no spyware or anything there. Uh, make sure you allow this in Chrome and then make sure you allow this in Windows Defender because it will quarantine the minor files. So once you do that, you export the files to your desktop and you want to make sure you run it. So first time you will run here, it's super easy. You just double click that and they say it's one of the fastest, easiest way to start mining, which is true. Uh, so first uh, way you're gonna go ahead with the GPU. So let's say you have a gaming PC or any kind of PC with some graphics card. You can click next and then you're gonna select here your token. Already selected on Solana. And you put a uh, paste here your address here and I'm gonna ask you for a referral code. So if you have one, um, you can lower your fees to 0.95% instead of 1%. So if you don't use one, it's really fine. You don't have to use mine, but if you do, if you don't use one, you'll pay 1% fees. Uh, with this referral, you paid, uh, you're going to be paying basically 0.75. So I'll make sure to add this into the description. So after that, you want to click start. So one thing to note here, if you're not a very tech savvy, just keep this running as is. But if you are, uh, there's this advanced settings menu here. You can click on that and you can actually choose your uh, your mining intensity, low, high, custom. So let's say if you're using your PC to browse the web, to do some casual gaming, and you don't want to you don't want to keep uh, want to stop the mining, so you put this on low. But let's say if you let's use your computer, you're done, and you want to keep it on to mine, put it on high. If your GPU has a six gigabyte VRAM, you can mine Ethereum hash, Dagger Hashimoto, the regular Ethereum. It says here four gigabyte, but currently now the uh, the requirements for updated so it's, you need to have six gigabytes four four gigabyte won't do uh if you don't have six gigabytes let's say you have a smaller car less than six gigs you can mine ethereum classic which is totally fine uh there's no problem with that and you can add here a custom worker name i have here 38 i rig so i put my worker name 38 i and this is the referral code you put earlier and you can choose to select here the miner app on start set mining on application start uh, i want to keep it off so once you do that, you just close this and you start the mining. As you can see already, I'm getting a hash rate of 46 mega hash per second. And uh, you'll, you'll have a little balance here. You can see how it updates. It's pretty cool. You're going to be paid only, however, when you get 0.15 sold. So usually how it works on Mineable will send you one payment per day. As last time I checked and you'll get if you have a balance of 0.15, they'll pay you. And that's it. You don't have to do anything. It's going to show up in, the, in your Phantom wallet. So this is while you're mining on your GPU, you can do another, another thing. as what I recommend. You can mine your CPU. So what you need to do is just double click on the miner files again. And you're going to launch another instance of this. Super easy. Just launch another one. And uh, 
we're gonna wait here a second we'll do that and uh, click continue and then just select your cpu you're gonna click next and you're gonna put the same default code if you want you're gonna click start and then here you're gonna have another instance running so as you can see here we have two one is the gpu on the right and the cpu is on the left if you have let's say an amd ryzen uh, 3 series, like 5000, 3000 series, or Intel uh, 10 generation 11 gen with 6 core, 8 uh, to, to even 12 cores. This is a, a, a decent one to mine on CPU. Uh, you're going to be mining basically, I think, on the uh, random X uh, here algorithm. And if you have Ethereum here, you're going to be mining on Ethereum hash. I'm going to refresh this to see my worker on the random X CPU. And this is my worker on the Ethereum hash. What I like about it is that they give you like a little nice graph to see uh, how much your rigs are doing. Uh, so here you have, let's say, uh, five rigs. You're going to have five worker here as ap appearing here. And I'm getting an 84 uh, mega hash. And as if we see that here, we're going to try to compare. The hash rates has gone down a bit because this is an LHR card. Um, so one thing to note, if you have an HR GPU, this is not the best way to mine. However, if you have a 3070 revision one or 3080 or even 3090, or even a, a GPU with the 2000 series, you don't have to worry about anything. Just launch the miner and you will get the full hash rate with that. However, if you have an LHR CPU, which is a limited hash rate CPU, it's not the ideal way. However, if you're not too stack savvy, it will work fine. You'll get less profits, but it will work this way. So as you can see here, where are they getting the balance uh, updated here and you're getting a nice graph and I would like here to see this from the dashboard you don't have to open the stats but uh, the stats are more detailed and you can click on here this button here for any log issue you can see what's accepted rejected any issues here on the CPU and the same thing on the GPU you'll have a few parameters like you want to say let's see how, how much is temperature so you can see GP1 37 degrees uh, which is 80% and 190 watt efficiency. Uh, so you can get a few parameters and you can get also the Ethereum uh, hash rate speed. So uh, it's pretty cool you can get this just from application with one click of a button. Usually miners, you need some configuration, you need to add a core clock, memory, co memory clock, a fan speed uh, with a few stuff. Uh, so at least with this way, the unmileable team, let's